Hey all you YouTubers out there, this is MVPDude808 and today I'm going to talk about Camtasia Studio and how to save the video files and how to upload them to YouTube for use. People are saying, okay, so I have Camtasia Studio, or at least a trial, and after I've made my recording, I don't know how to go, where to, where to go from here. I have this kind of file. It's a cam project or something kind of file. And they try to upload this file, right? So you guys go right on to YouTube here, and you go to upload, and you try to upload that cam project file, right? Well, that's not what you do. What you want to do is this is just a project, exactly what's what it's called. What you want to do is drop it in Camtasia Studio here. Oh man, if my computer's fast enough. Okay. Oh man. All right, here. If this comes up, go to change video dimensions and 320 by 240. This way you can already configure it to the size that you're going to see when it's on YouTube. Right here. This is only for Camtasia Studio 5, I believe. Okay, so anyways, it's right here. I dropped my answer, cam record, cam project, whatever, same thing. Cam record. And uh, what you want to do, let me remove this from timeline. You just simply drop this into here right and that's what that is now I made a short little video just for you guys whatever what you want to do is drag it into the timeline or right click it and add it to timeline then you preview it and this is the test I was going to show you guys so yeah so that's that's your test right to enhance the audio you right click the audio and go to audio enhancements duh then you go to automatically try to detect noise on the timeline and remove the noise it will remove all of the background noises to where it sounds like this now. This is the test I was going to show you guys. So, so it sounds way better. I don't get any of the background noises much. Um, all it's just crystal clear. Okay, it's just very clear audio. Next, what you want to do is make all your, you know, whatever you want, your zoom in and pans, your calls, your transitions, your whatever you want. And then you go to produce video as. This is the most important part for you guys. You have to produce the video or else it's not going to work. Produce the video as. Select custom production settings. Okay. Unless you want one of these, but I don't recommend it. And then you click next. Make it a WMV. WMV is a file that will make. It, it's a reasonable size. You know, like right now, if I did this answer, it'd probably be under one megabyte because it's such a small file. But. And if I did it on AVI, it'd probably be like 5 megabytes. I don't know. AVI boosts up your quality, but also your your uh, your file size. I never do AVI. I always do WMV. People ask me this a lot. Now, another thing you can do to make a channel icon is, let's say I just wanted this camera thing right here, this short little video, and I want that as my channel icon, go to GIF animation file. But for now, I'm not going to pay attention to that. Go to WMV and click next. Okay, you just ignore this. You want the best quality and file size. That's good. And then go to custom size right here. Make it 320 by 240 and maintain aspect ratio. Click next. And people ask me a lot, how do I get the watermark on the bottom of my video? This is it right here. Look at this. Watermark. I can include the watermark. That way this little symbol is at the bottom. And if I don't want that symbol, I go to options and I select the image path. Uh, you can select pretty much any image you want. And then this is when, if you can see the watermark preview right here, I can do the opacity, opacity, whatever, opacity. Um, which is basically how transparent it is. That looks good right there. You want it to be a little see-through. That way you can see through it and stuff. No, duh, Jerry. No, duh, the pigot. Okay, image scale. Make it as big as you. You can make it the whole screen, guys. Okay, you could like, yeah, you could do whatever you want. You could put this like in the middle of the page if you want. Just whatever. Okay. Um, maintain aspect ratio. Preserve image size. I don't want that. Keep the aspect ratio. Use smooth scaling, color, whatever you want, guys. Emboss, no, that's not cool. And then just click OK. You click Next, Next, name it whatever you want, like Test. 
and then you'll see it rendering the project. Mine's going to go fairly fast, hopefully, there we go, because it's a very, very small file. Usually for me, for a, a nice seven minute video, it takes about, I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes. Or maybe even shorter, I'm not sure, I'm just guessing. Then you click finish here, and on my top screen, on my dual screen, here's my preview that'll pop up automatically for me. And this is what I see. This is the test I was going to show you guys, so yeah. Okay, you probably didn't see any of it. This is the test I was going to show you guys, so yeah. As you can, as you can, ah, as you guys can see this, you guys can see the, uh, the watermark is in the middle of the video because that's where I put it. Okay, so, yeah, this is how you do it. Now, if you go back to your desktop, let me, range icon, icons are modified, oh, my documents get saved in my document, my, uh, file, man, I can't talk today, whatever, it's the 1st of January, whatever, guys, happy new year. I have to go down to Camtasia Studio here. And I have to look, and I name my test. And here's my test. I just drag that to the desktop for easy access when I want to upload it to YouTube. Here's the WMV. Let's right click it, go to properties. It's not even a megabyte. I mean, yeah, it's 51.8 kilobytes or whatever, kilobytes, whatever, man. And it makes sure it says WMV, it says test. Alright, it's good. This is what you go to YouTube, go to upload, name it test, and make a description. And here, here's a few tips. The longer your title and the more um, dead on your title is to what people are going to search, the more results you're going to get. You know, like your results are going to pop up the first one most. Description, make it long, but put all the description things on topic. Video category, do what you want. Sometimes I cheat a little bit and I go and make it uh, autos and vehicles. This way I get a few honors and they get a little more views. <clears throat> and then your tags. Make sure you fill up all of your tags. None of the tags should be the same word, so be careful about that. What I usually do is I copy the whole title and I just paste it right there. And then I add some more like comp help, um, comp help, um, whatever the thing is on. So technology, um, test, whatever, you know. So that's what you do. You just go to video category. I'll just do how to style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay upload a video your broadcast options you can do whatever you want mess with that if you guys want um i wouldn't do the map options maybe the date is fine but not the map options you don't want you don't want to let people know where you live your sharing options do whatever you want no comments on no comment voting whatever next you go to upload video and then whew, after all of that guys this is when you go to browse and you should come up with something like this and if you save it to your desktop, scroll up to your desktop, right click in the white and go to arrange icons by modified, all the way to the back, there you go, there's your test. You double click it and you upload that video. I'm not going to upload it because you know that's not what I want to do here, but that's how you guys do it from Camtasia Studio once you get this answer. Not that hard, it's actually a simple thing to do, it's just a few things. Now, the GIF thing for your channel icon that I was talking about, let's see if I have time. Oh man, not really. Okay, well, all you gotta do is the same thing except do it through GIF and upload that GIF that you get. Upload that to your channel profile picture. So, everybody, this is MVP Dude 808 with Comp Help here. Peace out.